Y'all, they're messing with us. They cannot be for real. Are you, uh, uh, before we get into today's video, I did wanna let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody, anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I hope everybody is feeling good. It is fall, y'all. I am so happy it is fall. It has been a very hot summer. It's been a lot going on in my family and in my household and everything. I, I, how about y'all? Everybody that I talk to seems like they have got like these dramatic things that has been going on. So I hope everybody watching this is healthy, and feeling good. I'm sending you all my love. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the aliens at the congressional conference that was shown in Mexico. And y'all, when I seen this, I said, they, are we on punked? They're punking us, but they're, they're trying not to punk us. They're trying to show us that they are real. Okay. I want to wait to the end to give y'all my opinion, but sometimes my facial expressions gives it away. So I dug into this and started researching this. Now, if you guys did not watch my first video, well, I have an alien video and then I have a second. So I guess this would actually technically be my third video. You should go and watch like this video right here. It's the one I put out right before this one. I think it's good, okay? Go and watch that video or go and check out my playlist. And I'm, I'm gonna do... Th this other video that we were talking about in that previous one, but I had to jump in and we had to talk about the aliens that were shown in the congressional hearing in Mexico. So on September 12th of this year, Mexico's Congress was expecting to hear testimony from experts who study extraterrestrials, but the hearing started with a shocking surprise. Now, Jamie Muson, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, no disrespect if I'm not, but Jamie Muson, who is a self-proclaimed ufologist, UFO Ologist brought two caskets into the congressional chambers. Now, as he spoke, two men opened the caskets and each casket had a body in them. Not a human body though. These bodies were tiny, chalky in color, and each had three fingered hands and what appeared to be shrunken heads. Now, Jamie Musan claimed that these bodies were aliens that were found in Peru in 2017 and they're estimated to be a thousand years old according to an alleged car been testing. Now this testing was allegedly done by researchers at the National Autonomous University in Mexico and he even claimed that the bodies were pregnant. Now before we go any further into this I do want to say that I think it's interesting that these aliens have this like three-fingered thing because if you guys watched the first alien video that I did, this one right here, where the teenager called 911 and said that he spotted aliens in his backyard after there was a green ball that was seen falling from the sky and the green ball was even caught on police body cam footage. So it really actually happened, but this kid calls 911 and that's a first for a lot of us. Okay, a lot of us have never heard a 911 phone call with a teenager saying, listen, there are aliens in my backyard. I am not joking. They're not human. They're really tall and they have like three fingers. And I start running towards the house. That's when I call 911 and here's a 911 call. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So there's two, terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. And big mouth. 
they're shiny eyes and and they're not human. They're hundred percent they're not human. Okay. So I do find it a bit interesting that the first video that I did that this 16 year old said this, okay? And the second video that I did was the whole Peru situation and we found out that allegedly their government had been lying and allegedly, I would never say this is true because I wouldn't know, our government was kind of in on it because that we put we spun a narrative over here that was just going crazy and wild in the media but yet the people in peru over there were saying they never even came out there and checked like this whole entire mess y'all need to go watch that first and second video if y'all haven't watched it but all of these situations have something similar in common but nevertheless back to this mexico congressional hearing with the little chalky pregnant alien bodies 70 year old jamie musan lives in mexico and is well known for his alien claims while also being involved in pseudoscience on tv and on youtube now a lot of people think he is just a, like a hoaxer or a theorist or a quack basically is what some people think and he also sells like herbal supp supplements so you know people think okay he's trying to sell something however he's respected by a lot of people and under oath jamie said that an, upon inspection that these alien bodies had not been tampered with at all and that they were the real deal problem is though in the past jamie and others have made similar claims about like alien bodies and scientists have said that they are not aliens they're either peruvian human mummies first discovered in 2015 in nazca peru or manipulated fake mummies but i find that so weird because it's in the same area of peru as all of these claims and if y'all watch that second video then and you know we talked about the fact that allegedly aliens or what people believe are aliens have been visiting or coming to Peru for a long time. Está en el cerro. Miren, ahí está. Oye, ¿viste? ¿Viste? Está grabado, está grabado. Estamos se nota, se notó, se notó el borde del cerro. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Está en el aire. Miren, 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 mira eso. No está en el cerro. Este, Anthony, está en el aire esa luz. And there are some people that believe it has to do with the gold that is there. But then on the flip side, there are some people that say that there is scientific proof that shows that these mummies are not human mummies at all, that they are alien mummies. Specifically in this video right here from 2021, where a few of the same people from this Mexican congressional hearing also presented evidence to the Congress of Peru. Now get this, they say a team of very credible scientists assembled an overwhelming amount of evidence to prove the authenticity of four different alien mummies from Peru. And they even gave these alien mummies names. Maria Josefina, Wawita and Victoria. They were presented at the Congress of Peru and it was said that they are two distinct non-human species of many. Get this, they classified this alien being, Victoria, and other small alien beings that they allegedly found as humanoid reptiles. Y'all don't get me started on the reptilian sea theory, y'all. That's one of my favorites. It's a good one, okay? It is a good one. I, I will be honest with you guys. I do not believe it, but it is good and juicy. Now, they're claiming, as they are in front of Congress now in Peru, that there are many species of different aliens. There's a lot of people that believe that too. A lot of y'all believe that there are thousands of different species of aliens. They don't all just look like one different alien, but they're saying that they went before the Congress in Peru and said that one of them is a species of humanoid reptiles. Y'all, clutching my pearls. It's true. But even though some of us may not believe that, all accusations of these being like a hoax or fake have been refuted and allegedly with solid evidence. So the scientific evidence that they're saying has been completed is DNA, like a DNA profile, which was my first question, like, they should be able to pull some DNA from it. Well, they're saying that they did, okay? They also said that they did a high definition CT scan. This is where they allegedly were able to find out that these little alien thingies were pregnant. Now, before I go any further, tell me 
For those of y'all that have seen Men in Black, that when y'all seen these little alien mummies, y'all did not think about the alien that was inside that man's head controlling it when that thing popped up and he, he died. Something else that they're claiming is part of the scientific evidence is examination of the mocular composition of different samples. They're also saying that C4 dating of various samples that was taken from multiple finds by various institutes. Since this video, the four alleged aliens, Maria, Wawita, Alberto and Victoria has supposedly been given to the University of Ica in Peru in August of 2019. This is where they said further studies have been conducted and an official presentation of these studies is apparently still in progress. And allegedly there's different organizations that have been fighting over these bodies. I mean, there, there's been the Ministry of Culture that has tried to get the bodies multiple times, but they have been denied saying that they are basically in fear of the government or somebody getting a hold of them and then the public not having any information. But back to the Mexican hearing from this year. Now while they're doing this congressional hearing and if you guys don't remember like literally just a month or so ago we had a similar congressional hearing here but with instead it was with people testifying. I, I don't know something, something's going on something weird's going on but let's keep rolling here. A man named Jose went in front of this board during this congressional hearing in Mexico walking in front of these mummified alien bodies that they're claiming and then started showing them imaging scans of alleged alien bodies. Jose then told Congress that these aliens had big eyes and big brains and no teeth and that they probably drank like an all liquid diet and did not chew anything or eat any food. And I don't know, y'all know about like all of those like cows and stuff that was found with the, bl the blood drained out of them? I don't know, it's pretty weird. And Mexico's Congress was even shown videos that pilots took of these strange like things flying in the air and doing all of this different movement, stuff that they're saying that we would not have the technology to do. But uh, another little spoiler, Alert. We ain't got no idea what kind of technology we got, but that, that's for another video. We want to talk about what's going on down in the South Pole. That's another video. But nevertheless, they showed videos of the, like tic-tac looking things. Ryan Graves, the executive director of the American for Safe Aerospace Organization and a former Navy fighter pilot was also at this hearing. Now, Ryan is one of the three U.S. veterans that also testified at that other hearing in front of Congress that we had here back in July of this year, 2023. However, the day after the Mexican hearing, Ryan seemed to try to distance himself from it. He posted on X, you know, Twitter, saying that he had accepted the Mexican Congress invitation because he was hoping to keep up the momentum of government interest in pilot experiences. But he went on to say that unfortunately, yesterday's demonstration was a huge step backwards for this issue. My testimony centered on sharing my experience and the UAP reports I hear from commercial and military air crew through ASA's witness program. I will continue to raise awareness of UAP as an urgent matter of aerospace safety, national security, and science, but I am deeply disappointed pointed by this unsubstantiated stunt. Now let's talk about the debunking of these mummies. Now allegedly these two little 
alien thingies that they're claiming was debunked years ago. In a video by Scientists Against Myths, they demonstrate exactly how like these little mummy thingies are made. ...that form our fingers and thumbs. The mummy's fingers consist of human metacarpals and phalanges mixed together. Wait! What's that? Is this a metatarsal bone? It's a midfoot bone. It's followed by a phalange, then a metacarpal, then again by phalanges. Let's look at the articulation joints now. Look at this x-ray of a real human hand. The bones are fitted snugly to each other, arches to concaves, with few clearances. Otherwise, you'd have difficulty moving your hand. The so-called alien mummy's hand is all messed up. Concaves join concaves at random. And what's inside the hand? Very few joints, just a mess of stumps. And why is a human ulna there, the wrong way around, with its point facing the fingers? Let's examine the second hand now. Things look much better here. Inside the hand, we spawned a tibia or shin bone, two metacarpals hanging loosely, some phalanges and other mishmash. Finally, his hand number three. Looks even better. But the fingers are still a puzzling mix of hand and foot bones. Inside the wrist, we can make out two humeri or upper arm bones, two elni and one tibia that all seem to have belonged to a child. Amongst these, we suddenly find a border of vertebra. Why on earth does it have to be here? Well, just because. Let's now look at all the hands together. You get an impression that their creator was gaining experience with each subsequent hand. The first hand was a complete flop, but the forger was learning from their mistakes. But if these hands belong to creatures of one and the same species, then why are they so versatile? Look at hands of different apes. They may seem to have little similarity, but they always follow a single plan. And here we only see a total hodgepodge of stuff. And get this, Peruvian officials are also allegedly infuriated by Jamie's claims. And they even went as far as the Peruvian minister culture said that they were going to be filing a criminal complaint against Jamie. And basically they're saying it's all fake, that none of this is real and it's, it's all fake. But I don't know y'all, I'm kind of giving the side eye to the Peruvian officials when they didn't even go out, allegedly, according to the people that live in the village, and check on what was going on, but spun this narrative that it was gold miners in jetpacks that were flying 10 hours into the jungle. I mean, what they got? They got jetpack gas stations, so they can stop and get gas to fly that far, or they got battery chargers. I mean, how do they get that far in there? But nevertheless, y'all know that was their story. Jamie said that he is not worried about any of these threats. He said he did nothing illegal, and whenever he was asked, well, how did you get these mummified bodies? He said that it will all be revealed in time. So what do I think? I think it's cake, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I don't I don't think that those those were cake in there. I just think it's real funny. Okay. America is so close to Mexico. Like we right there, right? We literally right there. I think it's interesting how things are being presented to different you know, countries in different ways. There, there's something going on. I, this is what I think. If I had to guess, okay, I would think that it could be a big plan to desensitize us, okay? Because a lot of people have been going, why now? Why are they talking about these UFOs or these UAPs that they're seeing in the sky and all of this stuff? And then people are saying it's because the pilots have technology to see these things flying around that they didn't have years ago. But I showed y'all in the last video that back in 1947, they were printing newspaper articles saying that flying saucers were spotted by what? Pilots. Okay, pilots. So they were using that, what, almost a hundred years ago? So it just seems like history repeating itself, but why? Bringing out these fake bodies or sprinkling it in all this other stuff. There's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason. Except that the part that I don't quite understand is what's going on in Peru and other places or what really happened with that 16-year-old 
young man from Vegas. When they start doing congressional hearings, I don't know, there's a, there's, there's, there's a reason. And I don't think it's because they want us to know something. I don't know. What I do know is that I wish I knew what was going on below the ground. Y'all know that the military has bases that goes under the ground for miles. I'm talking about allegedly 7, 10, 14 miles below the ground where you can drive cars and take elevators. What's going on down there? That's what I want to know. That's weird. A lot of us are just going on about our day. We wake up, our alarm goes off, yawn, we have a cup of coffee, we go to work, we take our kids to school, da 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 come home, cook dinner, clean up, put the kids to bed, repeat. What's going on 14 miles below the earth? That's what I want to know. That That's what's weird to me. But D, the DNA, if these were made or things like this have been made, just like that video that we just talked about from scientists against myths and people or organizations were making mummies like this, but they were actually taking parts from living beings and then they go and check the DNA 10, 15, 20, 100 years later, it's going to show DNA from an animal or human or a reptile. That's weird. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Other than that, I love y'all. I'm so glad y'all watch these videos because it's nice to break up the heavy stuff every now and then and, you know, have a little laugh and make our minds think about what's really going on. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here and I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.